Here's a tutorial on how to edit explicit music um, using a free program called Audacity. And so I'm going to open Audacity. And Audacity doesn't export M4A files, so you're going to have to convert um, your music to MP3 files or uh, WAV files, which I will have a tutorial later on how to do. So import audio, or go to import audio on Audacity. And you want to go to your music. Um, I like to like sort out all the M4A files from the MP3. So I go to just click on MP3 so I can see all the ones that are MP3. And I'm gonna click on this song and uh, import it in. And uh, you just want to listen through the song and uh, find the explicit part. And this one. Or the tool you want to use during the editing process is you want to use this capital I. I'm not sure which one it starts on. It could start on this one, but uh, you want to click on this I right here. You're going to zoom in and uh, a little bit more. So it uh, shows you each second. And this helps you like separate out, separate out the words. So you're going to listen through and find the back. Alright, so that's, oh, I got that. Um, Right around here. Shit here. So right there. So you're gonna click and drag over with the mouse, um, using the capital I tool thing. And um, you, if you're not sure which, if you scanned over the right word or part, you just can press spacebar to hear what you scanned over. Shit. So you're gonna go, to, and then once you have the right part, you're gonna go to effect and go reverse. And then listen to it. So that sounds pretty good. And uh, let's find a different part, you know, a different word. Hey, follow the rules, oh school, fuck it. So uh, she found that part. So school, fuck it. Sounds right about here. Do the click, drag over, make sure it's all gray. And uh, go to effect, reverse. So school, I cliche. I'm to the point, ain't no time to wet. So sounds pretty good. Another way you could do this is import um, the song with the, with the lyrics and an instrumental, which is like just the beat. If you don't know what an instrumental is, and just uh, turn off the volume on the part with the bad word, and the instrumental will keep playing so you hear the beat. You don't it doesn't get rid of everything. It just gets rid of the word, but you still hear the beat in the background. And uh, once you're done, you can just go file and export as WAV or MP3. And uh, load onto a CD, your computer, or uh, your iPod. So, thanks for watching. And this is brought to you by the Alltech channel. Thank you. Subscribe.